Well, hello. Okay. In this English lesson, we're going to take a look at this movie, Home Alone. We're going to talk about the movie synopsis, which is just a brief explanation of the story in the movie. We'll watch the movie trailer and then we'll do a listening test. Or in other words, we're going to do listening comprehension and test your ability to understand the conversations in the trailer. Okay, so let's move forward. Let's do the movie synopsis. All right, so once again, a synopsis is just a short explanation describing something, right? So this is the movie synopsis, which means um, in a moment I'm going to show you a brief explanation of what happens in the movie. Right, here we go. Okay, so this is the movie synopsis. An eight-year-old troublemaker must protect his house from a pair of burglars when he is accidentally left home alone by his family during Christmas vacation. Hmm. Okay, so let's do a pronunciation. I will read it one more time at regular speed. You repeat after me. I will pause so you have time to pronounce everything. Okay, here we go. Repeat out loud. An eight-year-old troublemaker must protect his house from a pair of burglars when he is accidentally left home alone by his family during Christmas vacation. Okay, so this movie synopsis was from IMDb. It's the website where they have a ton of information about movies, actors, all that stuff. So let's take a look at the movie synopsis and make sure we understand some of the vocabulary. All right, so first let's talk about troublemaker. All right, highlight it here. Okay, so uh, the kid is eight years old, an eight year old troublemaker. So a troublemaker is <laughs> someone who causes problems. In other words, it's someone who makes trouble. Hmm? And if a kid is a troublemaker, usually the adults are like, uh, <laughs> they're a bit stressed when working and dealing with this child. All right. So in this story, the kid is a troublemaker. He's eight years old. All right. And he must protect his house from a pair of burglars. So a pair means two. Burglars, aha, uh -huh, good word. Burglars are people who steal from houses, right? Uh, people who steal, well, let's see, who break in, which means to enter with force. They're not supposed to be there. Maybe they break the window, they uh, break the door, they force it open. Who break in uh, into a house and steal things. All right, so if we looked at for a picture of burglar, take a look, probably going to see, <laughs> let's take a look, burglar. All right, so you would think of this when we think of burglar. Usually they do it at night. They wear dark clothing. They go in. Maybe they break the window. Uh, maybe they you know, force open the door. But they're there to take your stuff. <laughs> okay. Right, so burglars. Right, so an eight-year-old troublemaker must protect his house from a pair of burglars when he is accidentally left home alone. So accidentally means on accident. It was not on purpose. Right, so left alone by his family during Christmas vacation. So if I read this, I'm thinking the kid's at home, but the family, whoop, the family left. The family went somewhere. Okay, All right, so once again, I'm going to read it. Here we go. An eight-year-old troublemaker must protect his house from a pair of burglars when he's accidentally left home alone by his family during Christmas vacation. Hmm? So this is the movie synopsis. It's just a brief explanation of what happens in the movie, but it gives us a good idea what to expect before we watch the movie, or in this case, today we're going to watch the movie trailer. All right, so let's do it. We're going to watch the movie trailer. 
and I got this video from the YouTube channel Movie Clips Classic Trailers because this movie has been out since I think 2010 or 2009 so it's or I'm sorry 1990 aha uh -huh. 1990 <laughs> So this movie is like 29 years old, but it's kind of a classic, right? Most people have heard of this movie, Home Alone. All right, so we're going to watch the trailer, and I won't say anything. After we finish, we'll do listening comprehension, all right? So let's do it. Here is the movie trailer. When the McAllister family left on their Christmas vacation, Did we miss the flight? No, you just made it. Yeah! They forgot one small thing. Have yourself. I've had a terrible feeling. Did you lock up? Let yeah. yourself be light. Do we set the timers on the lights? Mm-hmm. What else could we be forgetting? Our troubles will be ours. Kevin! <laughs> Home alone. Police in the northern suburbs are on the lookout for a pair of burglars who are calling themselves the Wet Bandits. We know that you're in there. It's Santa Claus. And it's Elf. Where's your mother? My mom's in the car. Where's your father? He's at work. What about your brothers and sisters? I'm an only child. Where do you live? Can't tell you that. Why not? Because you're a stranger. <laughs> by Chris Columbus coming November 16th. Okay. So that was the movie trailer. I'm going to put it back at the beginning so we can uh do some listening comprehension. But first we're going to take a look at the movie genre, which is just what kind of movie is it? Right? So we have adventure, action, animation, comedy, crime, drama, Fantasy, horror, mystery, romance, sci-fi. These are different movie genres. So when we say the word genre, it's, I think, a French word, and it's genre. It's not genre. <laughs> it's genre. So movie genre. All right, so this movie, we just saw the trailer, and you hear the kind of funny, crazy music in the background, and people are, you know, doing silly things. So I think it's safe to say that this movie is a comedy. All right, and sometimes movies can be can fit into more than one genre. I'm looking here to see if it fits. I, I wouldn't say it's adventure, uh, action, possibly. But when I think of action movies, I think of more like you know guns and explosions and stuff like that. <clears throat> it's definitely not animation, crime, kinda, but it's not as good as comedy, drama, eh. Fantasy, no. Horror, no. Mystery, no. Romance, sci-fi, no. So we're going to go with comedy. That's the one. We'll highlight it. That is the one. So this movie is a comedy, right? We could probably say it's a family comedy because it's not like for specifically for adults or anything like that. All right. So guess what time it is. It's time for listening comprehension. Yes. So, in this movie trailer, they talk at normal speed. And since they're kind of uh, animated, they're emotional, things are happening, they might talk faster. Sometimes when people talk faster, it's a little bit difficult to understand what they're saying. So, we have a great opportunity today to test your listening comprehension, okay? So, I will play different parts of the trailer, and um, I will pause, and then... We'll figure out what they're saying, okay? Let's see. Let me just adjust a couple things here so it's easier for me to adjust as we go. All right. Let's see. Make sure we can see everything. 
Okay, so let's get started. No need to hold back. Let's jump right in. Here we go. Ah, so right away, we have a girl who's talking. What is she saying? Where is... Whoop. All right, let's see. All right, so she says where, right? And let's figure out what she's saying. So I'm going to repeat. And here we go. Aha, uh -huh. so we, put, we did it about three times. Maybe I'll do it one more time and then I'm going to type what they're saying, okay? So see if you can figure out what they're saying. If you want, you can pause the video and then figure out what they're saying or move back and then uh, see what I type. Where are you going? We're going to miss the plane. All right, so what she's saying, where are you going? We're gonna miss the plane hmm so plane we're talking about airplane they're on their trip christmas vacation and gonna it's informal english but that's what everyone says so let's hear it one more time where are you going we're gonna miss the plane where are you going we're gonna miss the plane i would maybe make one change i would put an exp 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 uh, exclamation mark here because she says it with emotion, right? She's not like, we're going to miss the plane. She's like, we're going to miss the plane. Right? So here we go. Let's hear it. Where are you going? We're going to miss the plane. Mm -hmm. Right. Where are you going? We're going to miss the plane. Okay. Move forward. Right. Here we go. When the McAllister family left on their Christmas vacation. We... All right. So we can hear the background, right? The background guy who is like the narrator, the person who kind of gives us information about the movie in the background. We can't see him, but we can hear him. And he has a nice, dear voice, nice, deep voice. So let's figure out what does he say, right? When the McAllister family left on their Christmas vacation. When the McAllister family left on their Christmas vacation. When the McAllister family left on their Christmas vacation. All right, so we know that it starts with when. And when the, I'll give you a hint, McAllister family, right? And you guys figure out what fits in the rest, okay? So I'm going to play it maybe two or three more times. This is how it starts, and you figure out what goes in the rest of the sentence, okay? All right, so let's listen. Here we go. When the McAllister family left on their Christmas vacation. When the McAllister family left on their Christmas vacation. When the McAllister family left on their Christmas vacation. Okay. Oh, what do you think? When the McAllister family left on their Christmas vacation. And it's dot, 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 right? Because it's not a complete sentence. He's setting it up. He's introducing some information that, that we're going to learn, right? So let's take a look. Here we go. When the McAllister family left on their Christmas vacation. When the McAllister family left on their Christmas vacation. Okay, so it's introducing something, right? So it's not a complete sentence. Let's go. Let's move forward. Let's see what they do. All right, let me set it up just a little bit better. We'll figure out what they're saying. Ah, I can set it up better than that. Ah, here we go. Left on their Christmas vacation. Okay. Okay, so the first woman, I think it's the mother, she says what? And then the, the flight 
attendant, I guess, or the airport worker. Uh, attendant says what? Right, so let's I'll put some quotation marks. Easy to tell who's talking. Let's play it again. Did we miss the flight? No, you just made it. Yeah. Did we miss the flight? No, you just made it. Yeah. Did we miss the flight? No, you just made it. Yeah. Okay, so the mother said, did we miss the flight? Right, it's a question, right? She's curious. They must have been in a hurry, running, racing through the airport. Flight attendant, no, you just made it. I think that's what she said. And then everybody's like, ha, ah, hooray, right? They cheer. So let's take a look. Did we miss the flight? No, you just made it. Yeah. Did we miss the flight? No, you just made it. Yeah. Okay, so they're like, yeah, right? All right, let's move forward. They forgot one small thing. Right, back to the narrator again. They forgot one small thing. They forgot one small thing. They forgot one small thing. All right, so the narrator comes back and he says, they forgot one small thing. Hmm. So the narrator kind of, he uh, jumps in every once in a while to give us some extra information. Right? Move forward, let's see. Have yourself. Did you lock up? Yeah. Do we set the timers on the lights? Mm hmm. What else could we be forgetting? Kevin! Okay. <clears throat> so this one's a little bit longer. I'm going to take a drink quick. <clears throat> and the mother and the father are sitting on the plane. The plane is already flying, and they're getting the feeling that something is not right. Let's take a look. We'll listen to it maybe two times, and then we'll, I'll start typing. Here we go. Uh, terrible feeling. Did you lock up? Yeah. Do we set the timers on the lights? Mm -hmm. What else could we be forgetting? Kevin! Ah! Uh, terrible feeling. Did you lock up? Yeah. Do we set the timers on the lights? Mm-hmm. What else could we be forgetting? Our troubles will be ours. Kevin! Ah! Okay, so we have some background music we can hear. It's nice. It's Christmassy music. All right, so let's take a look. I think the, the woman is the one who talks first. All right, so we'll put woman. She's going to start talking. Let's take a look. I've a terrible feeling. Uh-huh. I've... She's kind of pausing. A uh, terrible feeling. Right? In other words, I have a terrible feeling, or I've got a terrible feeling. Did you lock up? Right? Did you lock up? If we say, did you lock up, we're talking about the house, right? Because they keep going back and forth between showing the parents, <clears throat> and showing the house, right? Yeah. Right, and the man says, yeah. <laughs> huh? He seems to be pretty relaxed. Yeah, All right. Look. Do we set the timers on the lights? Do we set the timers on the lights? Ah, so the woman, we'll just say, uh, maybe we'll say, mom right and we'll change it so he's the dad and she's the mom change that to mom okay so she says did we set the timers on the lights hmm let's hear it one more time do we set the timers on the lights okay so if we're <clears throat> if we're talking about timers on the lights, we're talking about light timers. You can buy these pretty much at any hardware store. What it does, you plug it in and you plug your lamp into it, the light, 
And when you're not home, you can set it. You can program it to turn the lights on for you. So even though you're not there at a specific time, the lights will turn on. And from outside the house, it looks like, oh, someone turned on the lights. So it's kind of a home security thing to make people think that there's someone at home when there's not. Mm -hmm. Right? Keep going. Mm -hmm. All right. What else could we be forgetting? Mm -hmm. What else could we be forgetting? All right. So dad says, mm hmm. That would kind of be like, mm hmm. What else could we be forgetting? All right. Let me think. Mm hmm. What else could we be forgetting? Moving forward. Suddenly it dawns on mom. It dawns on her means that it, what, she realizes what she forgot. So mom says, Kevin. <laughs> All right, so the kid's name is Kevin. And she's like, ah, you left him at home. Okay, so we have the whole dialogue here. Let's take a look and let's listen to it. I have a terrible feeling. Did you lock up? Yeah. Do we set the timers on the lights? Mm hmm. What else could we be forgetting? Our troubles will be ours. Kevin! <laughs> the kid! All right, so the kid's at home. Uh huh. Some slides here so I can keep going with this. One second. All right, so let's do it. All right, let's move forward. Home alone. All right, so the narrator says, home alone. Police in the northern suburbs are on the lookout for a pair of burglars who are calling themselves the Wet Bandits. All right. Alone. Police in the northern suburbs are on the lookout for a pair of burglars who are calling themselves the Wet Bandits. Okay, so there's another voice. It's not the narrator's voice. It's more like the newscaster or the person who might be giving the news over the radio or, uh, yeah. So let's take a look. What are they talking about? I'm going to play it uh, three times and then I will type in what, what the person's saying, okay? Police in the northern suburbs are on the lookout for a pair of burglars who are calling themselves the Wet Bandits. Police in the northern suburbs are on the lookout for a pair of burglars who are calling themselves the Wet Bandits. Police in the northern suburbs are on the lookout for a pair of burglars who are calling themselves the Wet Bandits. Okay, so police in the northern suburbs are on the lookout for... Right, that's the first part. Let's see if you can get the second part. Okay, let's take a look. Police in the northern suburbs are on the lookout for a pair of burglars who are calling themselves the Wet Bandits. Aha, uh -huh. or a pair of burglars uh, who are calling themselves the wet bandits. <clears throat> Let me check to make sure if it was it who or that. Look. Look out for a pair of burglars who are calling themselves the wet bandits. Police in the northern suburbs are on the lookout for a pair of burglars who are calling themselves the Wet Bandits. Okay, so in the northern suburbs, uh, so this would just be the northern part of the city, but suburbs are, let's take a look, it's always nice to picture suburbs. Suburbs are places, the section of the city where it's residential, there are houses, people live there, right? So let's see. If you look down the the street, it would, might look something like this, right? A lot of people live in there. After they finish from work, they go home to the suburbs. All right. Okay. So police in the northern suburbs are on the lookout for, right? So if you're on the lookout for something, you're searching for it. You're looking for it. You need to find it. You want to know about it. You're you're looking for it, right? So they're looking for a pair of burglars. Remember at the beginning we talked about burglars. Let's see if I can find it here. In the synopsis, there we go. 
So burglars are people who break into a house and steal things. So it's not a good thing, right? I suppose unless you're the burglar. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look. So are on the lookout for a pair of burglars who are calling themselves the wet bandits. So this is like like their gang name, I guess, or their their name that they're calling themselves. And a bandit is just another word for criminal. Uh, someone who does something illegal. Let's put it in the dictionary. Bandit. Internet. Yeah, I can move it over a little. There we are. Let's hear their pronunciation. Bandit. One more time. Bandit. Bandit. A robber or outlaw belonging to a gang and typically operating in an isolated or lawless area. Right? A robber, raider, mugger, brigand, freebooter, outlaw. Right? Criminal. Criminal. Look. So let's hear it one more time. Police in the northern suburbs are on the lookout for a pair of burglars who are calling themselves the Wet Bandits. Hmm. Hmm. Right. Here the next section. We'll clear it out. There we are. We know that you're in there. It's Santa Claus. And it's out. Where's your... We know that you're in there. It's Santa Claus. And it's out. Where's your... All right, let me fix that up a little bit better so it's... We know that you're in there. It's Santa Claus. And it's... We know that you're in there. Oh, let me fix it one more time. We know that you're in there. It's Santa Claus. And it's out. We know that you're in there. It's Santa Claus. And it's out. We know that you're in there. It's Santa Claus. And it's out. Okay, so we have man number one. Well, we can say bandit. <laughs> bandit or burglar, even better. Burglar number one. And then we have burglar number two. Right, so burglar number one says we know. Hmm. What do you think? And the other burglar starts out says it's. Hmm. All right, let's see. We know that you're in there. It's Santa Claus. And it's out. We know that you're in there. All right, we know that you're in there. And I assume they're talking to the child, right? The kid. We know that you're in there. Bandits. We know that you're in there. It's Santa Claus. And it's out. All right, it's Santa Claus. And his elf. So let's take a look. Santa Claus. Go and elf. Santa Claus. And elf. Elves. Right? So the elves are like the little helper people that help out Santa Claus. So this is Santa Claus and this is the elf. This would be a reindeer. Okay? Look. We know that you're in there. It's Santa Claus. And his elf. Okay, we know that you're in there. It's Santa Claus and his elf. Right. Okay, move into the next section. Know that you're in there. It's Santa Claus and his elf. Where's your mother? My mom's in the car. Where's your father? He's at work. What about your brothers and sisters? I'm an only child. Where do you live? Can't tell you that. Why not? Because you're a stranger. Delt. Where's your mother? My mom's in the car. Where's your father? He's at work. What about your brothers and sisters? I'm an only child. Where do you live? Can't tell you that. Why not? Because you're a stranger. Delt. Where's your mother? My mom's in the car. Where's your father? He's at work. What about your brothers and sisters? I'm an only child. Where do you live? Can't tell you that. Why not? Because you're a stranger. Okay. So this is what we could call a quick dialogue because they're talking to each other quite quickly, right? And the boy, it must be the store manager, I would guess. Uh, and the, you could say the rapid fire questions. One question, next question, quick, 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 right? But the kid seems to have answers for everything. All right, let's take a look. Where's your mother? All right, so I'm going to say he's the manager. He first says... Where's your mother? Right? Now the boy says... My mom's in the car. My mom's in the car. 
right? And here it's a contraction. They put mom is, right? Mom is, but he put it together. So my mom's in the car, right? So the manager is going to talk next. Let's take, take a look. Where's your father? Ah, where's your father? Right now, the boy's gonna answer. Let me put it back just a little. Oh. Your father. He's at work. Right, he's at work. Right, see, this kid has answers. He seems very confident. Right, let's see. So the manager, move that down. Going to talk. He's at work. What about your brothers and sisters? Huh. Ah. What about your brothers and sisters? Hmm? Brothers and sisters. I'm an only child. And the boy says, I'm an only child. Hmm? I'm an only child, as in my parents didn't have more children. It's just me, right? If we can fit it here. Where do you live? <laughs> Where do you live? Right? Can't tell you that. Can't tell you that. Uh huh. So he shortens it up. He uses incorrect English, but that's very common. Tell you that. Right? The correct English is I can't. I can't tell you what that, but it's a very quick dialogue. So sometimes we chop off things in the sentence. Can't tell you that. Right? Why not? Because you're a stranger. Okay, so the manager says, why not? The boy says, because you're a stranger. All right, so he shortens it here. It's supposed to be because, right? But he shortens, shortens it to because you're a stranger. Why not? Because you're a stranger. Okay, so let's watch the whole thing. And here are all of, here's the whole dialogue down below. Let's follow along. Here we go. Where's your mother? My mom's in the car. Where's your father? He's at work. What about your brothers and sisters? I'm an only child. Where do you live? Can't tell you that. Why not? Because you're a stranger. It's common uh, in the U.S. and I imagine other countries around the world, the parents are like, they tell their kids, don't talk to strangers, right? Because they're trying to protect them, right? Because you don't know what strangers are going to do. You don't know if you can trust them. So it's very common to tell kids, don't talk to strangers. Here he is. The manager says, you know, why, why can't you tell me something? He's like, because you're a stranger, right? Go to the next section. Runway and hitchhike. I am going to get home to my son. Uh huh. Right. This is the mother now. I have to get out on your runway and hitchhike. Ah! I don't care if I have to get out on your runway and hitchhike. I am going to get home to my son. I don't care if I have to get out on your runway and hitchhike. I am going to get home to my son. I don't care if I have to get out on your runway and hitchhike. I am going to get home to my son. Okay. So now we have the mom. She's the only one speaking. I don't care if... All right, that's how we'll start it. Now let's continue it. All right, listen. I'll play it uh, maybe a couple times. You figure out what goes in the blank, okay? I don't care if I have to get out on your runway and hitchhike. I am going to get home to my son. I don't care if I have to get out on your runway and hitchhike. I am going to get home to my son. All right. I don't care if I have to get out on your runway and hitchhike. I am going to get home to my son. All right, let's check. Let's see if my listening comprehension was correct. I don't care if I have to get out on your runway and hitchhike. I am going to get home to my son. I don't care if I have to get out on your runway and hitchhike. I am going to get home to my son. Okay, so a runway at the airport is 
take a look, is just where the planes land, right? Where they take off and they land. So here we go. We have a runway. We have a runway, right? Uh, she also says hitchhike. Hitchhike is interesting. I think it's illegal now in most places in the U.S., but in the past, it used to be very common, and sometimes people still do it. It's where you stand at the side of the road and you show your thumb and you hope somebody picks you up. It's called hitchhiking. Uh, the person is called a hitchhiker. Uh, the, the verb, the action is hitchhiking, to hitchhike. Right? And so maybe something like this. This guy, he put a sign, he wants to go to Vancouver. Right? So I think it's illegal in most places. But whether or not they enforce it and say you can't do it or actually try to stop people, eh, it seems to depend on the location, right? Sometimes there are a lot of things which are illegal, but if they don't actually enforce it, if they don't try to make people stop, then it's like, okay, people will do it either way. All right, let's go back here. So I don't care if I have to get out on your runway and hitchhike and, you know, hitchhike, ask someone to bring me. I am going to get home to my son. I thought it's interesting, the guy's face, he's like, <laughs> he's like, I'm trying to do good customer service, but it's impossible. Uh -huh. Okay, so here we go. Let's hear it one more time, and then we'll move forward. I don't care if I have to get out on your runway and hitchhike. I am going to get home to my son. All right, there's a shorter one. Let's take a look. This is one of the burglars, right? Ah, where are you, you little creep? Ah, where are you, you little creep? Ah, where are you, you little creep? Oh, I didn't get it completely. Let me just give it one second. Let me fix that. Ah. Ah. Just about there. I want to make sure you can hear the, the clip completely. Right. Where are you, you little creep? Where are you, you little creep? Where are you, you little creep? Okay, so the guy is obviously looking for the kid. So I get, think this was burglar number one. And he says, Where are you, you little creep? Probably the exclamation because he seems quite upset. Where are you, you little creep? Let's hear it. Where are you, you little creep? Where are you, you little creep? All right, so the word here, which might be uh, new or unknown to some, is a creep. You call someone a creep, you're calling them a jerk. You're calling them, it's an insult, right? You're a jerk, you're mean, you're kind of stupid, you're pissing me off. All right, so let's see what we find in the dictionary when we put in creep. So we're talking about a person here because creep can also be a verb. It can also be an action. But let's take a look. All right, so here, let's look. Creep. Creep. One more time. Creep. Creep. Okay, so if it's a verb, which we are not talking about a verb here. He says, where are you, you little creep? So he's talking about a noun. But just so you know... The creep as a verb means to move slowly and carefully. And you're kind of trying to hide and move quietly so people don't hear you. It's common for like a lion or a tiger to creep when they move forward and they try to catch a deer or something. But we're not talking about the verb in this situation, all right? We're talking about the noun. Here we go. It's a person. It's informal. And it's a detestable person. Detestable means something you really don't like, right? Rogue, villain, wretch, reprobate, beast, pig, swine. <laughs> so you're, if you call someone a creep, you don't like them, right? And it's something you might say when you're, uh, you're angry, just like the guy in the video. See, here we go. Where are you, you little creep? Right. Move forward. I'm gonna kill that kid. <laughs> so I can type that burglar number two. I'm gonna kill that kid. Mm -hmm. 
Right, let's see. So you can hear it one more time. I'm gonna kill that kid! Why'd you take his shoes off? Right. Now he says, burglar number one says, Why'd, as in why did you? All right, you guys figure it out. It's a question. What is missing? Why'd you take your shoes off? All right, why'd you take your shoes off? Hmm? All right, and burglar number two is going to answer with a question. Let's see what he says. Why'd you take your shoes off? I'm dressed like a chicken. <laughs> Let's see. I'll play it one more time so you can hear it. He says, why are... Hmm. Figure out what goes in this blank down here. I'm dressed like a chicken. Why are you dressed like a chicken? All right. Look. Wait, ready here. Hey guys. It's like, hey guys. And he's holding what are called garden shears. Garden shears. Right, so they're basically like huge scissors. And you use them to like trim the hedges or the bushes or stuff like that, maybe small branches. So looks like in the movie they're hanging from a rope and he's like, hey guys. Like a chicken. Hey guys. Yesterday he was just a kid. Alright. So he says, hey guys, and now we're gonna hear from the narrator again. Here we go. A chicken. Hey guys. Yesterday he was just a kid. But tonight he's a home security system. Uh, yesterday he was oh, I think I can make it a little bit better. Today he was just a chicken. Hey guys. Yesterday he was just a kid. But tonight he's a home security system. Yesterday he was just a kid. But tonight, he's a home security system. Yesterday, he was just a kid. But tonight, he's a home security system. Okay, so once again, it's the narrator talking, right? Once again, narrator means the person in the background who is just giving us extra information about the story, right? So he starts up by saying, Yesterday, he was just a kid. But... The either but or it says today. Let's figure it out. Yesterday he was just a kid, but tonight he's a home security system. Yesterday he was just a kid, but tonight he's a home security system. All right, but tonight he's a home security system. So when we think of home security system, you might think of like cameras, uh, different things that you use to keep burglars out to make your home safe. Take a look. All right, home security system. It could be cameras. It could be a code that you have to punch in or the alarm will go off, something like that. Hmm. All right, so let's see. Play it all. Yesterday, he was just a kid. But tonight, he's a home security system. Uh, yesterday, he was just a kid. But tonight, he's a home security system. A family comedy without the family. A family comedy without the family. A family comedy without the family. All right, so he continues by saying, a family... Hmm, 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 hmm. All right, so let's play it. You figure out what goes in the blank. I'll play it two times. Here we go. A family comedy without the family. A family comedy without the family. All right. A family comedy without the family. All right. So a family comedy is kind of like the movie genre, right? Remember before, see if I can find it here. We talked about the movie genre. 
and here it is, that we chose that it's a comedy, right? There's also family comedy. So let's take a look. What shows up if we put in family comedy, and we'll put movie. All right, so they're just movies which are kind of harmless. And the word harmless means they don't make kids cry. <laughs> they don't make you freak out or have mental problems. They're just nice, you know, nice movies. They're maybe funny. They're easy for the whole family to watch. Huh? So that's like a family comedy, right? Kindergarten Cop 2, right? Stuff like that. Here we go, The Big Sick. Family comedy, right? Usually everyone in the family can appreciate it and find something that's funny, right? So let's go here. All right, so the narrator says, a family comedy without the family. Let's hear it. A family comedy without the family. Home alone. Are you here all alone? I'm eight years old. You think I'd be here alone? Home alone. Are you here all alone? I'm eight years old. You think I'd be here alone? I don't think so. Are you here all alone? I'm eight years old. You think I'd be here alone? I don't think so. Are you here all alone? I'm eight years old. You think I'd be here alone? I don't think so. Okay, so the manager talks first. Back to the manager conversation. Huh? Are you? Hmm? And then the kid answers, or the boy, I'm, hmm. All right, so we're going to figure out what goes in here. Are you here all alone? I'm eight years old. You think I'd be here alone? I don't think so. Are you here all alone? All right, are you here all alone, right? So when you say all alone, it's similar to alone. When we say all alone, we're like saying really alone, right? And for a kid who's eight years old, it's quite uncommon for them to be all by themselves, especially in, I think they're in a mall or in a department store. So are you here all alone? Instead of just, are you here alone? If you say all alone, it's more emphasis, right? You're saying like very alone. Okay, here we go. Are you here all alone? I'm eight years old. You think I'd be here alone? I don't think so. Okay, I'm eight years old. You think, and it seems, do you think, or you think, do you think I'd be here all alone? And then we'll put in the last sentence for you guys to figure out. Let's play it. Are you here all alone? I'm eight years old. You think I'd be here alone? Ah, see, so he takes, he just goes straight to you. You think I would? I don't think he uses the contraction here. Let's take a look. You think I'd be here alone? Ah, he doesn't even say all. Ooh, this is good for me too. I'm eight years old. You think I'd be here alone? I don't think so. All right, so what do you think? He says, I don't think so. He's trying to say it in kind of a funny way. He doesn't just say, I don't think so. He's saying, I don't think so. Let me add the quotations, make it complete. And we'll watch it one more time so we can hear the whole mini conversation. Here we go. Are you here all alone? I'm eight years old. You think I'd be here alone? I don't think so. Hey. Are you here all alone? I'm eight years old. You think I'd be here alone? I don't think so. Directed by Chris Columbus, coming November 16th. All right, and last one there. Uh, directed, oh, the narrator says, directed ooh, by Christopher Hughes, is that what he said, or Christopher Columbus, Chris Columbus, coming November 16th, this would be a long time ago, in like 1990, 29 years ago, wow, see, I think so. Directed by Chris Columbus, coming November 16th. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we went through and we did the whole thing, all of the words. So let's see if I can, maybe we'll start the whole thing. I'm going to move through the comments and do it as they go. Okay, so let's watch the whole thing and 
enjoy the subtitles, right? We worked hard, we figured out what they're saying, so might as well sit back, listen to it again, do it. Okay. First one is, where are you going? We're going to miss the plane. Let's start. When the McAllister family left on their Christmas vacation... Did we miss the flight? No, you just made it. Yeah. They forgot one small thing. Have yourself I've had a terrible Christmas. feeling. Did you lock up? Yeah. Do we set the timers on the lights? Mm-hmm. What else could we be forgetting? Our troubles will be ours. Kevin! Ah! Home Alone. Police in the northern suburbs are on the lookout for a pair of burglars who are calling themselves the Wet Bandits. We know that you're in there. It's Santa Claus. And it's Elf. Where's your mother? My mom's in the car. Where's your father? He's at work. What about your brothers and sisters? I'm an only child. Where do you live? Can't tell you that. Why not? Because you're a stranger. I don't care if I have to get out on your runway and hitchhike. I am going to get home to my son. Dressed like a chicken. Hey guys. Yesterday he was just a kid. But tonight, he's a home security system. A family comedy without the family. Home alone. Are you here all alone? I'm eight years old. You think I'd be here alone? I don't think so. Directed by Chris Columbus, coming November 16th. Okay. So we just did listening comprehension. All right, so we did the listening comprehension. Wonderful. We broke it apart section by section to make to guarantee you understand what they're saying. And Home Alone is quite the classic movie, so I, I would recommend watching it. All right, let's take a look. Let's see what we did. In this English lesson, well, first we did the movie synopsis. Then we watched the movie trailer. Once again, the movie synopsis was just a quick explanation of what the movie was about and we did vocabulary and stuff right uh, we watched the movie trailer the whole way through and then we did a listening test listening comprehension where we took it piece by piece conversation by conversation statement by statement and broke it down what were they saying mm, wonderful okay so let's take a look improve your english become more valuable right Improve your skills. You become more valuable as a person and more valuable in a way that you can help people. Right. So if you enjoy our stuff here at Able Lingo, make sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm. And if you're already subscribed, there's a bell icon. You can click it on and YouTube will send you a notification when we have something new. Hey, okay. so that is it for today. All right. Make sure improve your English, become more valuable. Right? Have a wonderful day. See you soon.